What's good, y'all? It's me, James, here. And today, I'm basically going to be going over five things that would make Deep Oakland a little bit more fun than it is right now. So let's start. Uh, number one, more seasonal events. Now, you might be going, James, we have Holotide coming up. Why are you complaining about seasonal events? Now, I'm not complaining. I love seasonal events, and I'm really excited to see what they have in store for uh, Holotide this year. But I'm just saying they could add a little bit more than just Halloween and April Fools. Like, for example, Christmas or a summer event or fucking Valentine's event. Who knows? Like, they can make, they can be so much more creative than they are right now. And I'm not saying they're not creative or original, but I'm just saying these three new events would just, they'd be crazy. And it'd actually be giving, you know, people get to play to have, like, play these, like, during these seasons. Uh, moving on, fast travel. Now, I'm kind of stealing this from Always AFK, bringing up fast travel. But uh, I'm just, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to talk about it. So, uh, basically, the way uh, Always AFK described it is basically fast travel. The like better boat you have, the further you can fast travel. So, like he said, maybe a dinghy or a sloop that can t maybe take you from Etrus to Orissia or Isle of Vigils. But then, you know, maybe like... A merchant schooner could take you from goddamn like Etrus to fucking Miner's Landing, and then a uh, ironclad could take you all the way from fucking like goddamn Arisia to fuck where you could go wherever you want, right, buddy? You you go to where your heart desires, all right? You you that's all you. And now I don't think it would take that long to implement. It's like pretty much just getting teleported to an area, which is like. They already have that as a bell, so they should be able to do that and implement that pretty quickly. Now, moving on, make the game hard again. Now, you might be going, James, Deep Organ is a hard game. What are you talking about? You literally wipe in depths if you die. Are you fucking serious, bro? If that if that's dead ass your answer to like why if you if I, if I ask you a question and you respond with, bro, Deep Organ is not a hard game because if you die in depths, you wipe. Bro, you escaping depths is easy as shit. Getting into layer two to avoid a gank is easy as shit. I don't know what are you talking about here. Fucking saying like deep organ is too hard. I'm being honest with you. Depths ganking is very easily avoidable. And I don't know. Getting the freest fucking loot in the game is also like very easy to get. Like, bro, I promise you, you could go to floor two maybe like three fucking times and you're coming out with eight legendaries, bro. I promise you. It is not it is not hard, bro. I promise you. I got two ignition deep crushers from one floor two run and i think there's a void spire in there as well so i don't know what you're talking about deep organs too hard and like i don't know bosses drop literally the free loot. like duke he drops a relic that gives you 99 knowledge duke the most freeze boss that guy drops a relic that's considered mythical and you know it gives you 99 knowledge uh, and another thing that makes Deep Organ a little too easy is that that one bell event. Now, you might be going, James, shut up. That event's literally rare. And I know it's rare, but buddy, it's a free bell. And I'm, you'll never change my mind about that. It's a free bell, bro. And I just, Deep Organ is not a hard game to get good at. And I'm just saying they can make it a little bit harder by nerfing the loot in layer two, making DVM builds, you know, not as broken as they should be. And... I don't know just nerfing stuff that would you know make the game not as hard now moving on to number four uh this is kind of backing off what number three is talking about but make shit actually rare in the game all right you, like i just mentioned you could go to layer two and do a quest that takes maybe 10 to like 10 to 50 minutes max and boom free enchant of your choice you get you just get to pick and it takes 15 minutes floor two you want to curve do floor two maybe five times and boom you probably already have three curves all right it does not it is not like half the shit in this game that can they consider legendary and mythical it's not legendary and neither mythical if i'm being honest a rail blade is literally uncommon it's not it's not like rare for you to get a rail blade in like maybe 50 layer not 50 like maybe fucking like like 10 layer two runs and you if you grind it the right way you probably get a rail blade if i'm being completely honest with you because i'm just saying like they are making shit in this game way too free to get and like when layer two drop you get chaser boom that's like 50 fucking gems you're rich now buddy like everyone thinks you do fucking like you're a drop shipper for deep Vulcan, all right people ask you why you have so many gems you're like uh i do i do i do e-commerce in deep Vulcan. that's why i'm so fucking rich buddy 
and i don't know bro everything in like it's just it's not rare and i don't like know what to tell you man it's just not rare now you might be going james bro yeah yeah tell us what we can do to fix this make this shit not like this fucking easy to get i'm being honest because like everything's just too easy to get so fix it make shit actually rare again all right make legendaries rare make relics rare make mythical shit rare make every like everything that should be actually rare make it just make it rare man uh now for the fifth and final point remove training log what were the deep oak and devs thinking when they added training log no, no, no matter of fact what were the testers thinking when they saw when what were they thinking when they saw i've learned what i can from training right now i should put this into practice what were they thinking were they like Huh, you know, this is actually, uh, this is a fun thing. They should, they should keep this. This is a fun way to play deep walking. You know, this is very interactive. And I hope they, you know, add this and keep this. Because this is a really smart way to keep deep walking fun. Hell no, bro. Remove training lock. Now, you might be going, James, you literally just stole that from AFK. Yeah, I did. I'm, my my bad, bro. I didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I always AFK. But, like, you, you had some good points. But, um. I'm just saying, bro. They need to remove training lock because I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you, bro. No one likes training lock. I don't think a single person who plays deep walking goes, yeah. Training lock is uh, needed in this game, and it makes the game fair and balanced. No, no, the fuck it doesn't. It ruins people's life and it ruins people's time. All right. No one wants to be sitting on their ass grinding Duke for you know three fucking investment points. All right. No one wants to do that. I don't want to do that. No one. So remove training lock completely, and I promise you promise you man it'll be a little life will be a little ways better all right uh but apart from that that's really it make sure to like and subscribe uh because at 500 subscribers i will be dropping a community discord server and which i will say we're also very close to 500 subscribers so it would mean a lot to me and it'll help me uh you know show my content to you guys so uh yeah make sure to like and subscribe please 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 man it'll mean a lot and uh, yeah, apart from that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a good day or night. It does not matter to me. And uh, see y'all.